Today, we're going to be uh, shooting this guy. Um, I built this gun. Uh, originally, I built it for a three-gun match, and I had this brilliant idea that I was going to make a gun with a binary trigger, and the one that's in here is by uh, Franklin Armory, the binary trigger system. And then I found out that you can't use binary trigger systems for double taps in three-gun matches. So anyways, I built it anyhow. Um, the lower I actually got in an auction, uh, it's a Palmetto State Armory, and this is one of their ones where they always make these specialty ones. This was the Betsy, uh, the Betsy Ross edition, um, and they always do kind of funny stuff. I think it's kind of funny how this one says Safe America, Free America, and then it has 1776 America, and this one will go into three positions because it's got a binary trigger. Uh, I also put the Magpul stock on it and the Mag pull grip and then this is a ProTech. uh it's a company out of uh norcross that sells uppers norcross georgia and uh i bought this from them and then on the front of it i've got the uh, precision armament uh compensator muzzle brake this thing really cuts the recoil now a 223 doesn't have much recoil as it is but this one cuts the recoil by i would i can't remember i think it was like almost 60 percent uh there's a guy who's got a video on youtube uh, i'll see if i can find it put a link he tests 75 different muzzle brakes on the gun and it's a really neat test that he does he's got it on a a, a rack like this uh, and then when he um, uses a string to pull the trigger the gun goes back well he measures it without one on and then he starts putting different kinds of measures of the distance and the precision armament was the top one I use this on my 308. I also had another one. I've got a couple of them here. Um, um, Apollo makes one I got off of uh, um, Midway Arms. Uh, this is another really good one, but it's it's longer. You can see it's longer and it's heavier. Uh, so I wanted to go with the Precision Armament um, Hyper Tap. I also used to use this one from, uh, I believe it's AWC. I used to use this on another uh, competition gun that I have. It's heavy and it's longer, but these three holes that are on top, I mean, it cuts the gun down. And the company that made this also makes silencers um, or suppressors. And there's some of that technology in here, although it didn't cut the sound much. It's, it did make it a lot less than what these guys are, uh, but it's not considered a suppressor. So that was another one that I got. The other thing I put on here, now I always try to build these guns cheap. Like the the upper on this, I think was like 270 bucks off of their website when I bought it. I got this lower in an auction. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it. And, um, and then I got this on an auction. This was made by a company called Samson and they make these bases uh, for these. And I got this in an auction for like, I think it was like 40 bucks with this. And this was missing a piece to clamp on. And I wrote to Samson and they were nice enough to send me the piece. And that thing hasn't been produced for a while. So I don't know if they machined it for me or not. The only thing that's on this gun that wasn't, I mean, this scope is worth more than the whole gun. I got this from Midway and I paid, I think it's like 549. They were having a special on it, the EOTech. Um, I believe this is the EX3 uh, on there because it's got the buttons on the side so that if you're using this because you can't on a normal EOTech the buttons to turn it on or back there. I set up a little uh, tactical course here. Um, basically uh, what I'm going to do first with the binary trigger is I'm going to shoot that plate way up on the back of the hill there. I'm gonna to try to hit that thing twice. Uh, I don't think I got much luck. I'll hit it the first time, second time, I don't know. And then I'm gonna come running down here, running along and I made a little box over here. This is my little, i flatten that out. And then two shots in each one of these targets. And then I'm gonna run over to this box. And then we go two shots, two shots, two shots, two shots two shots two shots and then two shots in there and then another two on that back plate so uh we'll see how this works out and i haven't shot uspsa in about ooh, since 2005 so it'll be interesting to see how my hits are
<clears throat> okay, there's a uh, four, four, uh, there's two, and there's two, and there's three. And I found out when you're double tapping this, when you're doing it, uh, you got to let off that trigger quick. If you hold it for any bit, it will only sing fire a single shot. And then uh, here's your two right here, this one, two, two, three. The double taps are really close. Uh, this one I know I did, uh, I did this five times. I shot this one, here's the double taps and then the one off. This is the binary trigger too and then two more shots. <clears throat> and then the last one, I only had one shot left because I ran out and I, I finished low. And the steel plate, I hit that thing in the middle once and missed the other time. That was much better. <sighs> All right. I finally got a good run. Um, I still got to check the binary trigger. It's not double tapping all the time. And it's probably the buffer spring. Uh, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching another episode. All right, start that over again. Well, that sucks. Ducks. Not loading around. <laughs>